this video we are going to be discussing arts of the Americas until 1300 and our primary focus is on the vocabulary you need to have an understanding of and know for your AP art history exam. So our first vocabulary word for uh, arts of the Americas is Celt. Uh, it might be confusing because you hear the word Celtic with the Irish in some of our early arts but here for the Mayan culture we have a Celt. A Celt is a smooth oblong stone or metal object shaped like an axe head. Uh, our example here was created uh, between the 10th and the 4th century BCE and it has an incised profile. Um, this particular work comes from about 1000 BCE. Uh, Celts are elongated, the elliptical ground stone tools that would acquire meaning beyond their everyday work function. So there was a uh, didactic purpose behind this. Uh, when made of green stone, such as the hard, polishable jadeite, uh, Celts symbolized ears of maize, which is corn. And the profile image uh, in this particular work, uh, incised on the upper portion of this Celt, is that of the Olmec maize god, identifiable by the tall, tripartite element emerging from the cleft of its headdress. Our second vocabulary word is chokmul. Uh, this is a Mayan sculpture of a half reclining figure, probably representing an offering bearer. You might see this at the base of structures or on top of them. Uh, sculptures of this type feature a reclining male figure holding a bowl on his torso, and were given uh, the invented name chokmul by a 19th century explorer during an archaeological expedition addition to Chichen Itza. Uh, the figure is adorned with a headdress, ear flares, bracelets, anklets, and all likely depicted as if they were made of uh, jade. The bowl, as you see in this chakmul, served as a receptacle, receptacle for sacrificial liquids, uh, burnt offerings, and may have been symbolic of uh, the circular cenotes. Desert varnish is our next vocabulary word. Uh, this is a naturally occurring coating that turns a rock face into dark surfaces. So this is done through rain and through the heat of the sun. Artists would have then drawn images. As you see the example above or next to the word desert varnish, um, the artist would have scraped through the dark surface and revealed the color of the underlying rock. Would primarily see the use of this in the Southwest North American peoples. The next vocabulary word, a lot of people's favorite word, geoglyphs. These are earthen designs on colossal scales, often created in a landscape as if to be seen from an aerial uh, viewpoint. Our examples here are the white horse that we can find in England or the very famous, if you watch a lot of ancient aliens, the Nazca lines in Peru. And our example here is of the spider. Kiva is a subterranean circular room used as a ceremonial center in some Native American cultures. And the example we have here is from Pueblo Bonita in the Chaco Canyon, New Mexico region. Our final word for today, and it comes from the Mayan culture, is roof comb. Uh, a roof comb is found in a Mayan building. Uh, it's a masonry wall along the apex of a roof that is built above the level of the roof proper, that is the temple. Roof combs support the highly decorated false facades that rise above the height of the building in front. I would recommend that you look at uh, many of the Mayan temple ruins and identify the roof comb. So a quick review of our vocabulary word, arts in the Americas, uh, up to 1300 CE. Please know what a Celt is, a charmul, desert varnish, geoglyph, kiva, and roof comb. I would recommend creating note cards, uh, much over the Quizlet, and go over these words at least once a day because, come on, there's only six words to know. Hope this video helped you. Have a good day.